Hi everyone, welcome back to, ooh, to the channel, Try Not to Spill My Tea. Um, I hope you guys are well. Um, I just wanted to say firstly, thank you so, so much for all the kind comments that you shared on my last video, um, open up about my health issues. Um, I was really nervous, so, so nervous. Like even my watch, like my stress levels were high, it was showing me. I was so nervous to put that video out because um, it was just so vulnerable and it was really hard for me to do, but you guys have been so kind and supportive. Um, I'm really sorry I haven't responded to the comments. I haven't really been actively trying to check them because to be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's really triggering, you know, putting myself back in that mental space again. So I'm just trying to be kind to myself and just to, you know, kind of check check um check them as and when and if i can or whatever so just had a couple of days of a uh, break of looking um but yeah i just wanted to i just wanted to say thank you so much this video is going to be the long awaited belated 20k q a oh that was a rhyme <laughs> um yeah so i haven't done this for a while i hit 20k in december i think so um and we're now in march so procrastination yes please i've tried to condense the questions down let me uh, i've just i just want to maybe um focus on the book questions uh rather than there were some like personal ones but i mean i can do personal ones if you want a part two let me know i will crack on with the questions i hope you guys are well and yeah again that just thank you so much for being so kind and supportive i really appreciate it okay so question one is uh, your most anticipated 2024 release so um this is quite a hard question to answer uh, mm, this is quite hard to answer i mean i don't really keep up with the like new books coming out i can't lie to you I, I think i only recently have been doing that because i've been on booktube i think my most anticipated release is going to have to be the ones which i've pre-ordered blue sisters by coco mellas and funny story by um emily henry so i'm intrigued and excited to receive them yeah it's kind of like the first time i've I've really really pre-ordered something before that's my most anticipated <laughs> release of the year next question is what or who got you into reading um so oh, to be honest i should probably look back at my uh my first video my booktube uh tag newbie tag um the one where it got got us to this to, to the 20k i don't know what specific book but i'd say uh, what got me into reading? I'd say definitely, you know, obviously from school, going to like the book fairs and having the book tokens and being able to look around, yeah, the book fair and see which book I wanted to choose. But I'd say, I don't think there was a there was any specific person that got me into reading. Um, I mean, my dad's a big reader, but I think he reads more factual things rather than fictional. But no one else in my family really reads like that. Um, I think I'm like the main reader in the family um so yeah like school and then I'd say like the the books or the books like from when I was younger which really did it for me were just the books from Jacqueline Wilson so uh what, what did you have like the suitcase kid and the story of Tracy Beaker and all those books um there was loads of others I can't even think from the top of my head but I think those are the ones that really solidified my love of reading I still need to read Jacqueline Wilson's book um she released a book out a uh, book for adults so i do need to get around to reading that i haven't bought it yet but it, i um saw lucy wood uh, she did a dedicated video all about it i'll try and link it down below and it uh, sounded really interesting so yeah big up big up jacqueline wilson we love her <laughs> next question is what is your favorite comfort tv or a tv show or movie this is so impossible to answer because it really depends on what mood i'm in and it just depends what streaming service i have because i can't afford all of them so sometimes i will subscribe to one for a couple of months and then cancel the subscription <laughs> when i've had my fix tv show oh there's a few so i'd say if i'm feeling in a proper nostalgic mood just anything on Disney Plus, on the Disney Channel. I grew up being a big, big Disney uh, Disney Channel girl. So anything like That's So Raven, The Sweet Life. Yeah, those kind of the main ones really, which are kind of like the comfort shows. And then also now I'd say as I'm a bit older, I'd say Sex and the City is definitely a comfort show of mine. I have rewatched that now in a row for the last couple of years. I first started watching it when I was way too young, when I thought, oh, I'm gonna be 
mischievous and watch something with the word sex in it but i was like <laughs> i don't know 13 or whatever he's come on did it come on comedy central and then i definitely shouldn't have been watching it at that age and then um i bought the box set or oh, i got the box set gifted when i was 18 or 19 watched the whole entire series at uni and loved it absolutely loved it always have such strong memories of my first year of uni because i remember watching sex in the city and yeah that was the first time i really loved it then i rewatched it again um probably a few years ago uh a few years ago now so obviously i was in my well now i'm in my late 20s and it was such a different like perspective of watching it in my late 20s i was just like had a, a better appreciation and you know actually got to understand it more and had a real hatred for Kerry at one point. I found her really irritating and annoying. I used to stand Kerry before when I was younger, but oh, when I rewatched it again, I was like, mm -mm. like, <laughs> and I feel like I'm a bit more of a Samantha stan and, and a Miranda stan. A lot of people don't like Miranda, I think she's mi miserable, moody. Like, I think my sister doesn't like Miranda, but I feel like I'm kind of a little bit like Miranda. So, um, actually, no, I have some qualities of Miranda. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I love that show so much. It's definitely my comfort show. And then, yeah, I've got other ones like IT Crowd. That is, like, if I really want to laugh, that's, I love that show so much. Like, my favourite character is Moss. I just think he's brilliant. And also The Inbetweeners, that's a good little comfort show that I love if I just want to, if I really just want to have a laugh and I want to cheer myself up. And probably Shit's Creek, even though I, I first started watching that when I first became ill and... Um, I don't know if I, I, I don't know when I do watch it back again I do feel a little bit like it does kind of remind me of those times but hopefully I can watch it again and I won't it won't make me feel a bit like sad but yeah I do like Schitt's Creek. Comfort films oh, there's so many there's The Devil Wears Prada I literally just watched that last night with my husband first time he's ever watched it and he really enjoyed it and um, Mean Girls again that's just a, like a classic isn't it pop culture classic Mrs. Doubtfire, Jack, so anything like Robin Williams in it, I think he's amazing. What else? What else? Bend It Like Beckham, that's a really good classic. Uh, Disney Channel OG movies, um, Stuck in the Sub... Is it? No, not Stuck in the Suburbs. Uh, Read It and Weep, I used to really like that. Oh, Hannah Montana as well. I, I, I'm not shy, I loved Hannah Montana. Um, I haven't watched the film though. My Wife and Kids, that's also it also a um comfort show of mine i mean a lot of the shows i watched when i was a kid i can't get them anymore because i'd ha either have to buy the streaming service or um they're just not around like for example i think in the us i grew up on like the parkers and stuff like that with monique and countess fawn uh, i love that show and we can't get that over here it's so annoying it was like sister sister I grew up on that just like a lot of black shows i watched as a kid and i'm so glad i did because it was just nice to be like seen you know like on tv shows but anyway i'm digressing next question is what do you use for audio and your thumbnails so for audio i just use my phone i have the iphone 12 pro i think and then which is i think is quite a good mic and i also do use a little clip on mic i can't remember the name of it from the top of my head but i'll link it in the description box it was just from amazon and it was like 20 pounds it's okay it's all right i just sometimes use it just in case if it's a bit noisy in this flat or if there's yeah if there's just any noise from my neighbors or whatever what's your favorite book of all time and what if you had to pick one genre what would it be favorite book of all time i really struggle to i would really struggle to answer that i can't lie from the top of my head i probably would say girl woman other by bernardine evaristo i was not expecting to really like love that book as much as i do i think that book has really impacted me in terms of just you know black history black culture in the uk and then just other horrible things um essay um just privilege um obviously race i think like just so many different stories and i just never expected to have such a connection to a book and yeah so i think that's probably got to be up there one of my favorites so far i'm still very much into my reading journey as an adult because you know i've only just come back into it last year so um hopefully i can answer that question again in a couple of years time and i'll have a standout favorite book and then one genre which i love um i think it's gonna have to be lit literary fiction I just love following someone's journey, someone's perspective. I just want to 
take their whole entire experience and eat it up like i just that's just i just love that so 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 much i know a lot of people don't love it but i i yeah i just i like lip thick i think it's i think it's great next question what books marked your childhood i think i pre briefly touched on it so definitely jacqueline wilson books um i also had a bit of a a thought came to me the other day i remember because i think i saw meg cabot is it cabot or cabo the one who wrote the princess diaries i remember reading i'm sure i read the princess diaries or I took it out in the library i really remember it so i remember reading that um and also two of a kind so uh, mary kate and ashley their books i remember taking them out of the library as well um so yeah definitely those books marked my childhood um then also like i said the jacqueline wilson books um i think i've read goosebumps as well but i wasn't too into it um of mice and men from school that definitely marked my childhood it's obviously the twilight books but i mean that's kind of going to my teenage years um and then the biff and chip books the, the oxford learning whatever it is those definitely marked my childhood because i still love them books to this day and i can't wait till when my nephew starts to read those books because i will literally be like oh my god <laughs> i'll be like the stat like the, the, the nostalgia high i'd get from from him read, seeing that i'd be like what that's crazy but yeah okay yeah so those books kind of marked my childhood do you have an auto auto buy author who and why so again i'm very much new to like developing my taste for authors who i sort of gravitate towards um i would definitely say Koga Mellors. she's definitely a standout i think i will buy whatever she, whatever she releases even if it's a po poetry book i'll just buy it because i just really like her writing probably paul mendes as well if they write another book i'm sure they are writing one but i'll definitely by what they what they produce so yeah those two um don't think know if there's anybody else no probably not <laughs> um do you have a comfort book again i'm gonna say no um i just haven't i haven't read enough to have a comfort book yet there isn't really anything yeah like i've reread to be like oh this is like my favorite book in the world no so yeah no <laughs> Someone asked, I would love to know who your favourite book character is and what's your favourite book to movie adaptation? That's a really, really good question. Favourite book character? Oh, I think it's going to have to be Anna from uh, Cleo, Patra and Frankenstein. That's the name of the book, right? Yeah. Um, I loved her. I would love to go out for coffee with her. I'd love to go to a comedy show with her. I thought she was amazing. She was a breath of fresh air. Um, I would like to meet Eleanor from Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Yeah, again, I'd like to maybe go for a coffee with her, pick her brains about some things. Um, I would like to meet Jesse from Rainbow Milk, um, even though I think he's quite intelligent and I don't know if I would be able to like really follow a conversation with him. <laughs> he's very, you know, knows a lot about his art and his books and things like that as he's a writer. So yeah, I mean, I still love to meet him. I think he would have um, some stories to tell. Lastly, I think I would like to meet Agnes from Sugar Baby because I want to. I wanted to tell me the nitty gritty and the juicy, juicy goss of all the women, all the men that she, um, you know, has, was getting involved with. I'd like to have a sit sit down with her, have have a glass of wine and favorite book to movie adaptation yeah i'm really struggling to answer that because i i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know what book to movie has done it well i mean the only ones i've really consistently followed would be the twilight saga because i haven't i haven't actually read harry potter i mean i read um i think i read the first two but i mean the movie Mm, actually i'm not i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna say anything um if we're talking about twilight i hated the movies when they came out i hated them i hated that the characters did not look the same in my head or how they came out but now i love the movies i really do like them so maybe twilight i don't know anything else i've watched the movie no no anything else it's just been rubbish like girl on a train terrible movie adaptation terrible what else Colour Purple, I thought that was quite good actually. I think that was quite a good movie, uh, book to movie adaptation. Yeah, that's it. 
Oh, I recently watched One Day, the Netflix um, um, the Netflix series. I know there's a movie with Anne Hathaway. Um, I sobbed. I sobbed and sobbed and sobbed. You know, I might have even recorded myself after. I I'll pop it in if I did. Oh, yeah. That was that was really, really sad. If you're going to watch it, prepare yourself. Um, oh, yeah. It was just so, so sad. Um, the actors were amazing. The soundtrack, amazing. Like, I think I know node <laughs> i think i knew most of the songs i i was expecting a sad ending because i've heard people saying it's sad but oh. but just the show as it is it's amazing so many layers so many just oh my gosh yeah i think i would love the book because that as a show yeah amazing it just puts so many things into perspective and it's just impacted me so much and moved me. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd share, but oh dear, 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 dear. Um, I haven't read the book, so do I, I probably don't need to read the book anymore because I watched the thing and I know what, what happens, but oh my gosh, if you want a good cry, just be warned, it is emotional. Wow, yeah. So yeah, I don't know if I answered that properly. <laughs> what are some other interests you have other than books? Music, music's a big thing. Um, pre, pre pandemic, pre COVID. Um, yeah, you scratch gigs a lot. Um, I'd say from the age of fourteen, I first started going to gigs. Oh, actually, no, that's a lie. My first gig, but I mean, it was concert. I went to go see Usher when I was probably about six um my dad got us tickets me my brother and sister and some of the cousins and we went to see usher and we were far too young for that show um so yeah i saw him saw destiny's child um in 2004 that was for my 10th birthday um what else who else but yeah um but my proper gig that i've seen that um by myself was when i was 14 first ever gig was to see all time low with one of my um close friends i'm not close friend with her anymore but i think we speak sometimes and she she's a real one um so yeah i remember that was my first one her, her older brother dropped us off to the venue and i felt so grown up um but yeah um yeah love love going you used to love going to gigs um just spending time with friends going out with friends um date nights with my other half games um so yeah playing the sims um obviously i said in a previous video i've been playing life is strange i've started playing life is strange too and i really i'm really enjoying it so far i tried to do like because obviously now I'm, I'm at home i'm pretty much housebound so i've been trying to do more like <laughs> i really wanted to try and get into um not knitting the other one What's it, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. I'll put the name. But um, I can't do it. I'm not great with my hands and just my coordination and stuff. Um, so, yeah, apart from that, that's kind of all the hobbies, really. I've never been a sporty person. I mean, before I used to be, when I was active, I used to run and I'd go to the gym, do gym classes, things like that. Yeah, those were kind of like my hobbies and interests, I'd say. Um yeah, I've never really been like a sporty person. I don't play sports. I couldn't stand PE at school. I was one of those where I just hated it. And like all the popular girls at school would be like, I'd drop the ball because my hand-eye coordination was terrible. And they'd shout and yeah, I'd be like, dude, it's just PE. It's just a game. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. What other British and or black YouTubers do you watch recommend? Gosh, from the top of my head. Oh, um... Angela from Auntie Angela, I love her. Um, I mean, they don't just have to be black. I can, I'll recommend anybody. So um, yeah, Auntie Angela, I watch her. Liza from Black Law, I watch her. There's someone else who I've been watching lately. Um, Reads with Shuba, I really like her. She's so, she just seems like the nicest person ever. Um, like just really like nice energy. Um, who else, who else? Uh, Michelle Reads and Vlogs. Um... There's so many people. There's so many people I watch. Um, there's another person I've been I've followed recently. Lit with five, is it? 
I'll pop everyone who I watch below. Cause there's, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's quite a few people. I really, I'm terrible with names. I can't remember from the top of my head. So yeah. <laughs> Next question is, what does your husband slash family think about your success on YouTube? So first I'll start with my husband. He is just always so proud of me. I'm really, um, yeah, he's like my biggest cheerleader. So he loves it. He absolutely loves it. He loves, like, he always watches my videos and stuff. So yeah, he's really proud. Um, in terms of family, apart from my husband, no one knows. I haven't, I haven't told anybody I have a YouTube channel. I haven't told anybody. And I'm, I'm telling you now, I promise you now, I have not told a soul. I've told nobody. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, if it comes up, if, it, if they find it, then they find it. But yeah, I haven't told anybody in my family. As far as they're aware, I don't have, a, as far as, the, as I'm aware, they don't know I have a YouTube channel. So um, that would be quite interesting if or when they do find out. Um, so yeah, nobody knows apart from my husband. And yeah, I just, I've just chosen it to be like that. So do you think I'm a bit of a psychopath? I don't know. <laughs> I just decided not to tell anyone. Next question. How do you find that your chronic illness holds you back from reading at times? And how do you combat this? This is a really good question. So if I'm in a crash or in a flare or just I can't physically read because I've just, you know, overstimulated or whatever, I will just try and listen to the book rather than physically read it or I just won't read. I just always try and make time for reading. I won't push myself too much. Um, that's why I'm not, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a super slow reader, but I don't read as much as, you know, someone else who's probably on booktube um but i do i do work part-time so i do have a little bit more extra time maybe than the average person but again that goes into like me resting and things like that so so yeah um just how i navigate it is just yeah if i can't physically read it i'll try and listen to the book instead and yeah that that's that's kind of how i combat it really and there might be times where i have a week where i just can't listen to it or read it so um yeah that's just how it goes i'll just have a bit of a break and yeah just come back to it um but yeah <laughs> yeah that's kind of how what i do oh this is a good question i think this was submitted by eric oh he's another youtuber booktuber i watch as well if you could judge a book prize which one would it be who would you pick as your fellow judges? I'm not going to lie to you. I don't follow the book prizes. I don't follow the book prizes. Like, I really don't. I mean, I probably would maybe read a book from the prize. Now, like, if I really liked it. But I don't religiously follow the prizes. I really don't. Maybe, maybe follow more the book of prize rather than, like, all, any of the other ones. If we're going with that or just whatever. Judges. <sighs> hmm... I mean, it's going to have to be Simon because I think he's very good at, like, analysing books. Definitely Liza as well for that same, um, that same reason. She's really good at, um, you know, analysing, analysing books, I think. And just, I think she's really funny as well. Like, I laugh at her so much. And one more person. Or can it be three of us? Maybe someone else. Who else would it be? You know what? Deba yeah, Deb from Debate Debate Books. I think she'd have a really good, fresh perspective. And she's funny. And she's, like, light and fluffy as well. Right, last couple of questions. What are your favourite and least favourite book genres? Okay, so let's start with the least favourite. Um, I mean, I haven't really read, like, a thriller. Uh, oh, no, not thriller. Uh, like, a horror book. That's probably 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 my least favorite even though i like horror films but i don't think i'd really be inclined to read a horror book um and then probably historical fiction i do tend to shy away from that um there's nothing wrong with it but i just i just find it sometimes a little boring i mean i mean it depends on when it was set if it was set like oh my gosh like pre 1800s i'm like nah forget it <laughs> i kind of don't really like going that far back but um yeah his historical fiction and um what was the first one again um horror and then my favorite um lit fic uh romance dystopian i really do i'm starting to like now um and yeah like rom-coms and um yeah, lit, lit, fic, contemporary, um, yeah, just all those.
What was the book that got you back into reading? That was The Other Black Girl by Zakia Dahlia Harris. The Other Black Girl, I started reading that last summer. Um, I enjoyed it. It was okay. It was it was a good read to come back into. Um, so yeah, that was the first book. Um, and um, I started watching the TV show and I, I didn't finish it. I didn't really enjoy it. I'm really, really sorry. Um, yeah, I didn't really enjoy it. So very subpar okay and then the final question does reaching 20k subscribers make you feel any different about your booktube journey um or do you think it would, could change the channel or your content in any way or not um absolutely not honestly absolutely not doesn't don't feel any different i mean i don't know am i, am I sounding ungrateful saying that i don't know but that's just generally how i feel doesn't feel any different won't change the content um i am just doing this because i you know i want I wanted uh, you know i wanted to start a youtube channel about books um and just wanted a bit more of a outlet something to enjoy and no it doesn't having twenty thousand subscribers i'm so grateful for by the way i'm so grateful but it doesn't change it if it was two thousand or two hundred doesn't change it for me at all um what matters is that yeah just keep having fun and you know it's not about growing my audience or it's really not about that um and it's not you know it could be it could go down that lucrative that, that lucrative journey of making money and just doing ads which i have turned down a lot of ads by the way um because i just don't wanna i just don't want to do that <laughs> i just really unless it was like a, a like a dream like brand that i'd work with um i just don't don't want to do that like i've seen you know had a lot i've had emails it come into my inbox about certain brands which you always see on here i don't have to you know say names um <coughs> <better> help <coughs> um and um it's just not it's not my thing at all um so yeah i don't know if that answers that question so that is it that is my 20k q a um let me know if you want a part two but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed uh thank you so much for submitting your questions as well i really appreciate it and just thank you for being here as well um just thank you for rocking with me and oh god sound like clay <laughs> from a love is blind oh my god yeah just thank you for supporting me and this channel um it really does mean the world i can't believe that i decided to take a chance and upload a video on is it november yeah early november and yeah just i can't believe like a couple months later I'm, yeah i'm here and yeah it's just i never thought that that would happen at all um I really didn't and it's been it's been so nice like seeing a lot of your comment you guys' comments saying oh you've inspired me to start a youtube channel which is beyond like that's just i can't even comprehend that someone has gone like and started their youtube channel because they've seen me do it like that's just so like humbling so yeah thank you to every, everyone who anyone who has said that and also if you have started a youtube channel comment it below and everyone can give you a follow and i can give you a follow and stuff so um yeah so yeah that is the end of the video um and i'll speak to you in the next one